Okay, so we got the one bottom. guy there. Yeah, that guy there. This guy a there. Crushed person. And then over here. Do we not explore this guy right here? Tab. Relevant page. Okay, so this is where we're at for this. This guy crushed by loose cannon. Gotcha. Okay, and then that guy crushed by the, the creature. Right? Terrible beast. Gotcha. And then who else are we missing? Oh, hello. This is new. Hmm. Looks like he got eaten by the beast. Maybe. There's only bits of him. <laughs> God, no, what is that? I guess he didn't want to use the uh, outhouse or whatever we found. Yeah, the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This dude went to the bathroom and got crushed by a sea creature? Yeah, he got disemboweled. <laughs> he got disemboweled. By the sea creature? That guy yeah. had a bad day, man. Okay, well, that's not good for him. E.S. Eaten. Wait, what? His name is E.S. So we might be able to find him in the crew. Maybe. Let's go to that section of the book and see the crew. E.S. Edward, oh, not Edward Nicholas. Going. Farrell. Edward Spratt. Edward Spratt, artist. artist. Oh, he's the one who, who made the illustrations. Oh, uh, okay. So that would be him right there. E.S. Yes. Okay. Who is Edward Spratt? Edward Spratt's this guy. Okay, and. That's him. We've identified him. Edward Spratt. Crushed. Is there any in, is there any uh, visual anything? Um, do we have anything? What on Edward Spratt? Well, just in general, I'm trying to see in this image. Do we have an image of did Edward draw himself or no? Probably not. We know that this is his signature, artist Edward Spratt. Yeah, we're Spratt. He's got so long, that. got long hair. He's an artsy type. <laughs> He's an artsy type because he has long hair. Who is this guy? I don't know. Let's get Edward Spratt in the book, though. Well, I think now we can have. Now it's gonna put him in the book, and we can do that. We had to unlock the page, I think. All right, others were present. Edward Spratt, artist, fate unknown, false. We know everything about Ed, old Ed. Okay, he was crushed, crushed by the beast. By the beast. Okay, I'll take it. While going to the bathroom, uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go. I think it was disemboweled. I mean, it was, but he was crushed. It wasn't disemboweled. No, oh, yeah. There's nothing left except the top and the bottom. I mean, I guess you're right. So we're trying to get to that up there. Whoa, what? What was happening up here? I don't know. Here we go again. Chase this thing. This was right here. That's what it's doing. What the? What happened here? I don't know. We're going to find out. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody dog. Oh. How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Before I forget, you killed my brother. Whoa. 
was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Whoa. Okay. Huh. You killed my brother. I'm trying to think. Ah, there's another guy, too. Did anyone else see it? Was there anyone else around? I guess not. You killed my brother. Is he the one who had the guy that they were going to throw overboard? I don't. I think this might be an er, uh, this might have taken different. place earlier. This might be a different timeline. This might be a different chapter. No, it's part of the doom. But it's the doom part. Location of the corpse. Who is he? How did they die? Hmm. Which one is he in the picture? Is the one getting hit? Great question. So it looks like this guy is shirtless. I'm going to assume. I think. Or he has like a... His sleeves are cut off. And it looks like this guy... Maybe has the same outfit as this guy, maybe? No. This guy definitely... Oh, this guy has a knife. Yeah, so I'm trying to think. Is that the guy who died? Hmm. I don't know that we know. Who didn't they want to get on board? Over my dead, dead body, body, you bloody, bloody Dane. Dane. So maybe it's we, the outfits are the clues based on like who looks Wait, like. Who did they want to get in the boat? Is what I'm asking you. Who did they want to get in the boat? They weren't going to let the Dane in the boat. Is that what they're saying? Yeah, these maybe. guys are trying to get in the boat, and the boat eventually gets tossed. But um, yeah, and he says, uh, "There's no cost of trouble, boys. Get in the boat." Hmm. I think we're reading this wrong. Maybe I am. This is us leaving. Right? So my assumption was that these people were coming onto the ship. I think but they're leaving. They're leaving. They're yeah, getting on the boat to escape. That's what I've been saying. That's the boat so that that's, eventually I was gets mistaken. picked up by the um, uh, beast and tossed. Remember the three guys that were tossed? So the fourth. Yo, high five. Oh, Good call. So the fourth person is the. So it's this guy over here to the left that gets killed. Yes. And the other three then jump in the boat. Mm hmm. So this dude has a brother. We just don't know who this man is. Right. But we know that this guy killed his brother. Whoever this guy is killed his brother. So but this he said, dude. No, it was an accident. He got caught up in the ropes. Do you remember the guy who got caught up in the ropes and died? I said he died because he got caught up in the ropes. But that took place. During the beast attack. Oh, okay. This apparently would be before it if we were going off of them being flipped in the air, right? Okay. So, I would imagine we'll discover this as time goes on. I guess we don't know, really. Well, let's see who this... Let's go ahead and identify this guy then as somebody who gets killed with a club. This guy right here? Yeah, because doesn't he get killed with a club? Sure, this dude... The unknown. Clubbed. Clubbed by we just we don't know who. attacker. Okay. And this guy is this dude. And yeah, that's all we know right now. This guy we got know clubbed. That those three guys get flipped, killed in the boat eventually. I mean, I guess you're correct. We can make that we can make that assumption. Yeah, let's make that assumption. We let's don't have we don't have uh anything we don't know. Unknown soul was drowned. Drowned? We don't know that they died during that attack. We just know their boat got flipped. Ah, uh, they died. <laughs> You're making assumptions now. I died. How do you know that? I don't know. I put drowned. I think they drowned. We well, don't know that yet. All right. We can say that the beast got them for sure, but we don't know if they died by drowning. We can't say that yet. No, oh, it looked like they were drowned. We can't say that yet. All right. Did 
Damn. Is that how many things we got? No, that's how many people were died and or hurt during that. Okay, who is this? What fate befell him? Seven wayward's are distributed. Yeah, so we have disappearances and we have all sorts of stuff here. But we just don't know. Well, that's what I said. I think that why you don't know and why they disappeared is because they drowned. But that's just me. Not all of them, but some of them. Well, they're saying that like these like people died, and then we know that seven wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. So we don't. At some point, these people vanished from the story. We just don't know how or in what way. And so I guess we'll find out. What is that? Is that the monster coming? I don't, I don't know. It's very specific. Can we look at it through like something? There's a very specific thing out in the water. Okay, so let's continue on down, I guess. Is there, for, can we go further down to the ship? Oh, we, no. I'll let you open it. What about this? Ah, so we just can't go that way. That this one. guy died. We here. already know that guy. Yeah. Did we already enter his info? Yeah, Edward Spratt. Terrorist. Yeah, you're right. Did we do the guy that was crushed by the cannon? Oh, we can go in here. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, well, there's this. this. Is anywhere. Not sure what that is. Let's grab it. I don't think we can. Huh. But we can still investigate these rooms and might as well give them a look. Ooh, nice outfit. This? <laughs> you a huge fan of whatever it is. Yeah, this and I don't know if these are pants or what. I don't think they're pants. You don't think those are pants? Whoa, this Somebody's is dead in there. Yep. Yes, here we go. Okay, we found a dead person, but this person was killed. Stabbed? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, no. You're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. <laughs> What? Oh, interesting. So this is, this is the first mate. And this dude bled all the way. Is that the one who got his throat cut and then ran all the way back to his place? I... Great question. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we know this dude is dead. And this guy. Oh, goodness. Okay. So this must have happened right before the mutiny. When they went to the cap. This happens like right before. Because these are the only people left. That dude and the guy and the first mate are the only are the people that went up to the thing.
But he had his throat cut and he went all the way back to where his room is. Tell Pete I tried to, tell Pete's mother I tried to save him. I'm trying to think, the guy who got his throat cut. So, so basically, so the people in this, in this piece are this dude, the first mate shot by the captain and this guy who was knifed by the captain. And this is the guy who died, right? That we just saw. Yeah. And this is, so this guy, this guy and this guy, I'm going to make the assumption went to the captain for revenge for this guy's death. That guy? Maybe. I mean, this, oh, this, the one who had his, this is the guy who's lying, dying on the floor. With his throat cut. And these three are the ones who end up going after the captain. So they have to be related in some way, I would imagine. Tell Pete's mother that I tried to save him. Right? So that's what the guy with the cut throat is saying. How could he talk, number one? But um, tell Tell Pete's mother I tried to save him. I'm sure with a cut throat Who's you can maybe Pete? talk. Who's he, Pete? His throat wasn't cut though. He was stabbed. Right? Oh, I thought he was. Who's Pete? Great question. Maybe this will lead us to a Pete. Well, no, I'm trying to identify him. If he tried to save Pete. He went in after Pete was shot. Was the guy's name who was shot the first mate Peter? Uh, we can we can go. You know what? That's a very good question. We should, in theory, go look at the the book. Yeah, let's see where this takes it. <laughs> Just leading us around. Uh, okay, so this is the body that would have been here during the thing. So let me go. To this, Pete. What was the first name of the John first mate? Marcus Duncan. Tell, tell Pete's mom I tried to save him. Where's Pete? Peter Milroy. Milroy, Milroy midshipman. Okay. So, that so when dude. did he try and save Pete, Peter Milroy if he was the guy that was laying on the floor in the captain's? Maybe this person right here is Pete. He said, I'm trying to save Pete. And this person right here. Tell his mother I tried to save him. Yeah, maybe this guy is Peter. But I thought he was killed by... Well, I don't know. What's all this shit, <laughs> Yo! Okay. So this guy came down here. Right, so he, this guy arrives in time to see. This dude. Shoot this guy in the face? This guy clubs him. And in the last Wait one, he, in the minute. last one, he was standing above them. Wait a minute. Isn't that guy that clubbed him? Go back to the guy who clubbed him. Yeah. Didn't we already identify him? Yes, he is one of the three that goes after the captain. So what ends up happening is this dude with this gun shoots this dude in the face, but the, there's a body over there on the other side that there's a blood path leading to, to over there. We just didn't get to check out yet. Right, so this is, is one of the mates. Maybe the fourth mate. I'm not quite sure. And then this thing is going to lead us to, I would assume, because this guy's crawling over like, oh, help me. So we're going to figure out who this body is, the shot body. So this dude got this dude got clubbed in the back, and this guy got shot. So this dude was clubbed by the first mate. This guy, or not first mate? Oh, damn, no. we don't know who it is. We don't know who that man is. All right. But this guy got shot by this guy. You know, 
Captain Cameron. You have a plan? Yes. Take a ship and sail the east. Great regimentation shells will go on. Hey! Who's there? Right. So this... He shoots his head to stop him from telling about the mutiny. So this guy... So what ends up happening is... This dude is going to is gonna talk about the mutiny. It's right? What? This boy is the one who's like, mutiny! And then this guy then he stabs him. Up. And this dude shoots him. Right? I think that's what happens. Right. This guy wants to have a mutiny. This guy is the is the one of the mates. And he's the guy who gets clubbed by one of the mutineers. Right? The other the uh other guy hits him in the back after he shoots this guy. Which means that Oh, there's blood coming over here. So they're in. The, so what ends up happening is they're in that room that we just walked into, uh, talking about a mutiny. And the one guy overhears it, and he's like, "Mutiny!" And he's gonna go run and tell. And then the one guy stabs him, and he starts crawling to get away. And then the other guy shoots him in the head. Uh, this guy shoots him in the head for stabbing the other guy. And then another mutineer bashes this guy's head in. So who? Where it says, who is this? How did they die? Which one is he? Um, this is the guy who was shot. This is Metanunum Fate. He was shot in the head. Shot? Gun. With a gun, but we don't uh, know the attacker. attack. Yeah, we don't know who it is. It's one of the mates. It's, it's one of them, but we don't know which one. There were six people present. This guy, this guy, um, this dude right here is the one who uh, clubbed uh, that guy. So these two are the ones that live. In the end, out of this whole scene, there's six people present, right? And what ends up happening is these one, two, three are the only ones left, and they go after the captain. And, and, whoa, whoa. and this guy, this guy, and this guy. So what ends up happening is... Um, this, let me see if I got this correct. That guy is dead. The one that has the hat on right below where you're pointing. Oh, yes. This is the guy who got his head blown right, off. Right, And this, I believe, is the dude who got stabbed. And this is the guy who blew this guy's head off. And I think it's this guy is the guy who um, clubbed this guy, I think. I think. But I do not know. To me... Is he originally the one that had the club that went after the captain? The, this guy and this guy went after the captain. This is the guy who climbed in with a knife, right? Right. And so this guy was the guy who got shot by the captain. Right. And this is the person who uh, went to fight the captain and the captain slit his throat. Exactly. Here's my Here's my thoughts. Tell me if I'm crazy. Because it appears that this dude who ran off like mutiny, right? It appears that the mutineers were this person and this person. Mm hmm. But that one got. This guy got shot. shot. Um, actually, no, it appears the mutineers, this guy was a mutineer, right? Because he stabbed him. He stabbed this guy. And then this dude. Right. Okay. So this this guy reported was going to report him, and this guy uh, he stabs him, and then this guy shoots this dude, right? And then one, two, three other mutineers come in. The question that I have is the guy who who reported it wasn't this the dude that was with him, who was like, "Don't worry, my dude, it'll be okay." So why is he taking care of the guy who's going to rat him out? Unless I'm misinterpreting which of these two was with him at the time. Because I feel like this guy's dead already. I don't know. 
I don't know. You got you got me confused now. Well, story of my life. I'm already I'm confused as is. Is there more over here? So this room had blood in it. Are we going up? Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Somebody's what? being thrown overboard there. The hell? How did we end up back up here? Only the mist knows. Only the mist knows. Also, that is. We're not going to talk about that. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Only the mist knows. <laughs> Only the mist knows. Let them go. Whoa, what? Oh, the woman shoots him. Oh, wow. So is this guy helping them leave? What the hell? Wow, everything's going down now. Okay, so we got this guy who is... The guy with the knife in his mouth. The guy with the knife. And we got this dude who is the captain. Yeah. He's trying to stop them from going. No, I think he's... Uh, he said, let them go. I think that was the captain. Why'd he shoot him? Uh, uh, no, she... Uh, captain she didn't shoot. Shot she him. shot. Well, why did she shoot him? Because they were trying to get him? I don't know. Oh, they were trying to stop him. They're on a boat. The yeah. women are on a boat trying yeah, to yeah, get yeah. away. Okay. Escape. Ah. Uh. So this guy was shot. How did they die? Dude was shot. He was shot. No, no fate. He was shot. With a gun. By, and I think, let's go back to the list. It would be a woman. Mm -hmm. A it passenger. It wasn't Abigail. It was right. the woman with the girl. Okay, let's we go down. We don't know down. who that woman with the well, girl let's was. Let's keep go down and see. All right, let me really quickly. The bosun, bosun mate, surgeon, carpenter, carpenter, cook, butcher, gunner, purser, artist. Who has a woman's name? Passenger unknown is interesting. Who has, a, who has a woman's name? That's what I'm looking for. Um, Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Burge. There's already two. I think there's only two women on the ship besides the wife. I mean, we don't know. There's a lot of unknown as well. There's Peter, midshipman. Topman, seaman. Okay, so this Emily is... Emily and who? Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird. Do you think... I know who it is, Miss Jane Bird. Well, she would... That's why she's the... Um, what the heck you call it? Governess. That's why she's Ms. protecting Jane Bird. Emily Jackson. Yeah, uh huh. That's why. Now, it's can Jane you explain Bird. to me why? Because I would assume that the miss implies that she's young. No, Miss Jane Bird, because you'd call her Miss Jane because she was the. Um, she might still be young, but she's the uh, governess. That's why she has the miss in front of her name. Is that true? Is uh -huh. that that's as a matter of respect? Yes, a young girl doesn't have miss in front of her name. Okay. All right. Unless you think Miss Jane Bird means that she was wealthy. Maybe, and that's why she's being protected. But also, I'm not going to lie, Emily seems like a young girl's name. Well. I don't know why, but for some reason, Emily Jackson seems like it would be the young girl. Miss Jane. Let's put Miss Jane. See if it, let's say she killed her. Miss Jane, the passenger. All right. We just don't know who this person is yet. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. See, I think we got it. I, I don't know about that. This person got got. I don't know what happened to this guy. This guy. Here comes the mist again. Only the mist knows. The mist was too playful. The mist didn't have the to do all this. Needs to like settle down a little bit. <laughs> 
Chris didn't even be doing all this. All right. Let's see. Ah. Last one. Move quick. Boy, you'll not take the last push. This dude's name is Paul. Right. So, Paul, look out. This guy is Paul. Right. Okay. I don't know who the hell Paul is, but Paul got taken out. Because then this guy is the one who got shot. Yep. So, Paul... That's the guy that was in the picture with them. So that's her right there. Okay, so this dude... Oh, this guy's like, stop! So this is the captain with his long hair. He's trying to get them to stop. And everyone's kind of rushing up there to deal with this. Okay, so we know Paul... What that's happened the to first Paul? mate. Yeah, let's look. Let's look at Paul again. That's that guy. Okay. So we'll bring up Paul right now. I think. I don't know. Let's see what happens. We should, in theory, be able to bring up Paul. Yes. Who is this? This is Paul. Somebody. That yeah, was Paul. Okay. This is Paul. Let me see. We see a Paul. Paul Moss. Okay, first mate Stuart. Let's check and see if there's any other Pauls first. We already know about this guy. He's done. Paul Moss. I think he's the only Paul. Paul Moss. You're very quick to say that. No, I don't see any other Pauls. We don't. I mean, we don't know. All right. Um, Paul Moss stabbed. Right. I don't know. I didn't see it. He was stabbed with a sword. Oh, well, killed with a sword. Killed then. sword. Yes, by an unknown attacker. Yeah, we don't know who, who killed him, but we know he was stabbed with a sword. Okay. Okay. Piecing it together, one bit at a time. Uh, we're going back down? Oh, it's taking us back down? Yeah, wow. All right. Things fell apart down here. Uh, a mist nose. The mist nose. Took us took us to that. There it goes again. So this dude was falling off. There was a guy hanging onto this thing as well earlier, but I guess we're going I back don't down. Know. We're going down for some reason. Right to here. I'll wait, mist. Don't worry, I'll Where's wait. Where's the dead body? I thought it took us to a dead body. It no, takes us to gone. where we know a dead body to be. Like the magic of the mist will take us to the dead body. Uh, I don't see Right, it. mist? No, we're not. I thought that's where we were going. Same. Mist? Do I have to keep track of the mist? Okay, that one we just did, right? That's Paul. So who's the guy hanging over? Oh, Check. there's the mist. It took, it took its time. Come on, mist. There it goes. Miss playing too much games. Finally. Okay. okay. Now this is a person we don't know anything about. Put me down. Let go. It's easy now. You're in a bad way. This is squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Whoa. Dad. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that does that live for nothing. Real quick. Real quick. Let's go to the crew. Let's go here. Um, I just need to know if that's a last name or that's a swear. Is Verdampt a thing that people say? I don't know. Is it French? Maybe. Maybe, but maybe his first name was Verdampt. 
No, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I was hoping we'd get a clue there as no, to who I that person that was, was that got like ripped a in half. Swear word in somebody's yeah, language. You know what I mean? Like I know a what you frustration mean. Frustration word. Yeah, but like, what if it was a name? It's not though. But what if? All right. But he said, "Go back to what he said." Okay. Well, we don't have what he said yet. We have to like investigate the area to get the whole thing. Okay, so this is one of the dudes who gets killed. That's the other mate who gets killed. But this guy died laying here. What did he say? This guy he lost said? an arm. Yeah, he said Verdant, the beast got him. That's all I know. But right. But what did he oh. say about his Frenchman or something? So, by the way, this checks out. This like, remember how there's a blood trail leading into here earlier? Yeah. And I thought it was probably the blood trail leading out. No, it's, it's actually leading. this guy. Okay. Go over what that man said again. I wanted to hear what he said. Oh, uh, we have to unlock it. How do we unlock it? Ah, uh, this is the dude who died. I guess everyone died. You mean we can't hear? What oh, this guy oh, came out of nowhere. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, Let's see what he has got to say. All right, so. Here you go. Okay. Put me down. Let go. The squid. Where's my Frenchman? My Frenchman. The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Yeah, we don't know that dude's name. We saw the man who was torn apart. By yeah, the yeah, yeah. I was hoping that Verdomped was that dude's name, but I guess it's just a swear. Frenchman. Yes. So it was a Frenchman. We could find that out. Okay, let's go find the Frenchman. So you want to go back to, to here. To the crew. To the crew. They I say where they're from. Let's mm -hmm. find the guy from France. Charles Minor, France. All right, we can just go Bosun's through the list. mate. I think that's it. This is the only that's Frenchman? The it's the bosun's mate. It was his mate that was, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. okay Look at us. So we know that. Now, did we have anything okay. else on the Frenchman? Charles, so we can go... Boy, oh, wrong thing. Okay, let's go back to... Crew. It would be the escape? No, it would be the doom. Is that where the Frenchman was? Yes. That's the artist. That's this guy. Where's the dude with the tattoos? The guy. This that guy. Was. That's it. Yes. This is... The Frenchman, Charles Minor, was torn apart by a terrible beast. Yes, that's him. All right, we got it. All right, we know this guy for sure. Okay, fantastic. Who is this dude? Ah, uh, okay, first mate. We didn't identify the guy in the chair. We need to go. Okay, so let's think about him. He was, arm is torn off. Oh, 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 we're so, oh, that's why... That's why you have the brains. All right. So again, if this guy, if if uh, the dude from France is the bosun's, bosun's mate, mate, this would be Alfred Klestel. The bosun. The bosun. Mm -hmm. So we've identified. So we know who he is. Uh huh. Okay. So we can go. This unknown soul is this guy. And he had his arm torn off by the beast. Is there like a bled to death? Speared, strangled, struck, suicide, torn apart? Mm. Lunch good, exploded, froze, illness, knifed. Arm was taken off. Would that be torn apart? Maybe. Not oh. clawed. Mm -mm. No. Go back down and see if they have. Eaten, electrocuted, expired, exploded, fell, froze, illness, sword, knifed. Shot, speared, spiked, strangled, probably torn apart yeah. by, we don't know. I would assume the beast. beast. Yeah, because he said the beast. Okay. Did it get crossed off? I hope so. Uh, We have to confirm three from this scene. Oh, all right. So this dude, there's nothing else that was said during this, right? 
Can't remember. And this guy is walking away. What about the guy coming up from underneath? This guy, this is, I believe, the, uh, this dude over here who got, uh, stabbed, right? I think. This is the, the first mate. This is the captain. This guy is there. I thought we did something with that guy with that funny hat. This guy right here? Yeah. This guy? Yeah. He gets his head blown off. This is the guy who gets blown up. Or gets shot in the head. But we don't know who he is. Not yet. All right, let's go out. Well, hold on now. So now we've discovered all these other people died and we're missing four? Is that what it's saying? Disappearances. Who is this? Uh, okay. Yeah, we're missing four. Who are these people? What fate befell them? Uh, okay, well, we, we know the one up on top. Do we? Mm-hmm. She's the one who shot. That's Miss, what's her name? Oh, this is a deduction rating. A high rating means that it will be more difficult to deduce the person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. It's warning you against it. I think it's Miss, what's her name? But you, okay. think, you think it's Miss Jane? Mm-hmm. Didn't she shoot that guy? I mean, yes, that's what we assume, but we don't know yet. And I don't know that we should yet. Okay. Because we don't know what fate befell them. Like, like, alive, maybe. We don't know yet. Okay. But we can now go down. Oh boy, there's more down here, huh? Can we go in there? Someone's library, I guess. Maybe it's the surgeon? I know they said there was one on board. Maybe. Guess he would have books. I don't know. I'm looking for blood on the floor. It could be blood. It could be water. It's black and white, so it's hard to tell. There's no... Like that right there? Yeah. So this is the crew quarters. Can I, we open up any of their... Um, chess or anything like that? Great question. Maybe get a picture of somebody? Mm, no. Look like. Yeah, we can interact with doors, and that's about. Whoa, oh, what the hell is this? Mm hmm. Petra here. One swing. Get true to skull in stone of brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. They're killing a cow to eat it. You all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. Never been on a farm, Charlie. So this is Charlie. That's Charlie. Hmm. Do we have information on this person from before? I don't remember Charlie. Unknown. Charlie. Charlie. Charles Minor? I mean, there's, there's Charles. There's a Charles Hersick. Yeah. Charles Minor, we already have information on. That was the dude who was all tattooed. Right, we already know him, so. There's another Charles, though. 
Charles, yeah, midshipman. And we are midship, right? So, hit I mean, that it, would make it. sense. See, would that, can we say that's who he is? Just looking to see if there's any other Charles. Nope. That's the only other Charles. That's the other Charles Harsick. Midshipman. All By right. deduction. Lovely. So, yeah, that's him right there. Okay. Okay. So, we got Charles. Who is this guy? So these are all the midshipmen back here, just like living their best. Ah, oh, this guy the is cook. the or doctor. I think he's a cook. I mean, I guess they are killing a cow, so that checks out. Yeah, see if there's anything that says cook on it on the crew. Yes, there one hundred percent does for sure. There is there is a. Uh, Someone who's cooking the food for sure. Carpenter cook. cook. Thomas Sefton. So we're going to, we can say there's also the surgeon, Henry Evans, but I guess a He's surgeon cook. wouldn't wear a smock. You're correct. Yeah. This is a different time period. So this guy. How do we identify him? It's not going to let us. Nope. Well, but we're doing is. this. It is. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay, so get him wrapped suit his last rites. Interesting. So there's a whole other thing going on here right now. But this get him dude, wrapped and do what? There's something, someone needed to be wrapped. I don't know who needed to be wrapped, but someone needed to be wrapped for no, sure. No, no, I thought that was the cow. Go back. They're going to wrap the cow and get him to the carpenter? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see what it says. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped, see to his last rites. And then they're talking about this thing, which I think is, there's a whole other conversation ending before this happens. Hmm. I think. But this dude, all right, so you're saying this guy right here is the surgeon. No, I thought he was the, uh, cook. Uh, the, the cook. I thought he was the surgeon. Uh, cook. Okay. But I think is there a minister on board? Um, maybe. Butcher, gunner's mate, helmsman. Passenger, maybe a passenger for sure. Maybe it could have been one of the, the Danes. Remember the guys that they were on the other ship? Keep going down, keep going down. The rest of these are just the people on the ship. Topman. Yeah. Seaman. Uh, okay. Oh. This is the wrapped person. Oh, yeah, this is the person who died. How? Great question. <laughs> you really, you really enjoy this. This cracks me up. All right. And the mist takes us here. Oh. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, mm -hmm. blood consumption, made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. <coughs> hmm. Is that the doctor there on the right? Yes, I'm gonna make the assumption this is the doctor. Yeah, that's the doctor. There he is. Yeah, that's what a doctor. That's yeah, doctor. that's what a doctor at the time would look like. You're totally right. You're right. This is that. This guy barely is even in the photo, or not photo, the drawing. All right. So this is one of the mates. Mm-hmm. Let's identify the doctor. This guy's doing his own thing. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. 
Yeah, the doctor's the one to identify. Yeah, let's identify the doctor. Uh, this guy is... We have no idea. Yeah, and there's nothing... I can't leave this scene. Oh, hold on, I can. There's another one. So is this guy. Interesting. Corpse was moved post-mortem. Who is this? How did they die? So we are trying to identify... The guy that's laying there? This dude is the doctor. Mm, surgeon Evans. or surgeon's first mate. Interesting. Henry Evans. That's the surgeon. Right. I'm trying to figure out who the who the other guy would be. Do you think this dude that has like a stethoscope? No. I don't know. That's not uh, him, huh? I wouldn't guess yet. Surgeon's first mate would probably be a dude that's near him. Like over there, maybe. I don't know. I don't think he was in the picture yet. Right. Agreed. So this guy, in theory, this person, we don't know that they died of the cold. We don't know that yet. But it's potential. Potentially died of, of sickness from the cold, right? Should we say that? Well, they were both, the two guys who got sick were both at the same place. Right. Illness. Illness. Okay. But he gave him laudanum, so we don't know if he was maybe poisoned. I don't know. Laudanum would just take care of the, put him to sleep. Right, but, you know, it could have been too much. Who knows? We don't know enough answers yet. Well, I don't have, think so. We don't have the answers. All right, so we need to learn about this person who died of, yeah, actually let's died take a of the look cold. At this. Yeah, okay. Well, they think that they picked something up because they both went to, I can't remember what the town was or whatever. They went to a house, so maybe it was like a bordello or something. I have no clue. I, I always think of tuberculosis, but. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it very well could be any of those things, but. It, then they would be. They just picked it up. Wherever they were, they picked up something. Something, yeah. Whoa. Russian. <laughs> okay. Syed. So that's Syed. So we know that Syed. Died of sickness. And that's the other guy who's laying. Right. So we should be able to identify, identify Syed. That's that guy. This dude's like, what's going on there? This guy is like anyone at an airport when someone coughs. Well, let's identify Syed as one of the crew who... Yeah, we just have to, to see enough people for the for the screen to be like, all right, you've identified you everyone. It. Yeah. Who is this? Uh-oh, we're going to find out. That's a dead person. Who is this and how do they die? This is our, our boy Syed. And he is whoop, whoop. Huh. Unknown midshipman, unknown topman. Four six. You still have one more to go, right? How many people were on board? 60. Russia, That's Russia, only 51. Russia, Russia. Keep going down. So, they had so to be I'm Russian. going to make the assumption that there these guys. I just saw Syed. Where? It was the last name. Solomon Syed. Wow. India. Good on you. 
So interesting. So these guys, these seamen here, one the one who was speaking Russian, right? Right. But and Syed, so, but Syed, Syed's de- dying from an illness. Syed's dead. Uh, okay, so he died of illness. Illness. Hey, we got six. See? Well done. All right. Sprat crushed by a terrible beast. And then uh, torn apart. Terrible beast. Look at us. Look at us. No, no idea what this oh, means. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's got to go all the way around. Here we go. Yeah, maybe these are those are the six people that have died. Or and maybe it just goes around in a circle. I don't know. Well, I'm saying like there's six and then it's going to end up here. And then right. whatever this is, is like the, the survivor. Mystery thing. Remember, we're going to have a mystery thing. We certainly do. We certainly have a mystery thing. No, no, no. At the end, it says you get a mystery book or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The chapter, maybe the chapter the that chapter. isn't, uh, like we don't know. Right. It's a mystery. Gotcha. Understood. Understood. Uh, hold on. How do I get out of this? 